Uh oh. How did I just get myself killed again? to rein it in running around like i'm super super strong and nikki's down okay we have no cleric so um i'm about to die here and i don't want to die here and then have to Okay, hello. Sorry about that. <clears throat> so, I don't know exactly why I'm recording this. I might put it up, just put it on the dumpster footage. I'm just screwing around on EverQuest, the best game ever made ever. Uh, it's like 20 something years old now. Uh, this is a private server on my own. Um, on my computer, I'm playing by myself. You see I have a uh, warrior here and a full group of bots. We have Richard, a ranger, Zedekus, a wizard. Kaylin is an enchanter and Nikki is the cleric. Fang is a beast lord. Everybody but Fang, all five of these characters are from a book series. Bonus points to you if you know what it is. Um, I'm just kind of screwing around. I just did a long stream today, so I'm probably not going to talk too much. Um, my, uh, voice is kind of getting tired. We are doing a double experience weekend just because I can, and I can control, oops, I can control the experience gain and all that. I also have a big ass experience bonus potion on me. So we are power leveling super fast. Um, I only played for like three hours, two hours, and got all the way to level 30. Now I'm already 35. This will put me to 36, this pull. Um, the problem is if you know EverQuest, then you realize this game is all about gear. Levels don't really do a whole lot. And the characters that I was selected, uh, this is not like the best group ever, like the most incredible composition of a group. Uh, I just wanted to play it this way, just kind of for nostalgia's sake, and the classes fit the characters that I'm playing. <coughs> Look at my warrior, can't even taunt yet. <coughs> So right now is early game and we're 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 shitty. We got no skills. We got no gear, we got no abilities. Ding. <laughs> Ding and 42%. We got the assassin. Probably give the mask that nobody can use. Yes, he did. Serrated Bone Dirk for a rogue. Nobody in my group can use these. That's sad. I usually uh, have a bard. Um, I was really trying to, when I made this group, is really trying to pick classes that are not my normal standard. I almost always do a, a combination of monk, bard, shaman or um ranger bard shaman or what's the other um you could do rogue bard shaman berserker bard shaman but i usually do a bard and a shaman and i went with the beast lord instead so i could have a pet class i really like that i used to play beast lord when they first came out um we have the enchanter 
So we have slow, we have KEI, we have cleric. We have one wizard who's basically carrying us right now. Uh, the ranger has a pretty good weapon, but all the melee at this level, 35, uh, the original game. Um, if you know, you know. Melee don't do anything until later. They really, really need a lot of gear. Right up in here, top part of the screen, you can see the DPS. Zedekus will almost always be on top because the AI for uh, wizards just nukes, nukes, nukes. Go, go, go. So, uh, how come you can't, how come you can't charm? You can't charm, really? Uh, 
Okay, those spells are all screwed up. Summons an earth elemental for suffocate. Yeah, all right. And clarity is fear. You have clarity, right? She wouldn't cast it on me. It is a lacquer. It's a lacquer. It's not even a lacquer. A lacquer. He says it weakens. Okay, those are all screwed up. That doesn't screw me, or um, doesn't surprise me. Light blue. AC, we want AC. Not that it matters. I'm barely even holding any aggro as it is. Not even barely. I'm, not, I'm just not. Let's go for the cab right now. Go for Cavalier. It's not up. Thirty-seven. So the cool thing about doing it this way is uh, with the warrior and having everybody else be bots is I don't have to mess with spells each level. Every single spell for every class is automatically given to them um, each level. And you just have to control what expansions are active on the server so they don't have too much crazy stuff. And we're not level 60 yet, so they won't get any AAs. Until then, you don't have to worry about any of the crazy ancient stuff till later on. Wow, they are just wrecking. There we go. Boom, ding, 38. We are power leveling. Pa -pa -pa power leveling hard. Do -do 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 -do. If things
<coughs> Killing and pets. Already is killing and pets. Breaking out. You know, the other cool thing about having a private server is I can summon any of the mobs that I want. I can also just every now and then just spawn a couple of higher level mobs. Not even higher level, like this guy right here, Urgul Zul. I can look up the ID for this mob, uh, this specific mob, and just spawn two and make a fight. So I don't have to wait for 27 minutes for lower guck mobs to spawn. I can pretty much always, always be fighting. It is really cool once you get the private server set up. Hopefully, it's going to keep this forever. Forever and ever. Bing. Ooh. Yep, yep, yep. Just because I'm not... Shit, you know what? Actually, I'm going to have to try to give these... What is she at? Uh, you already have something. They're not very good. Give me the better one. No. I give her those. Yeah. She's the one gonna get all the aggro anyway. Oh. Ooh, looks like we got mez control going on now. Still can't charm, can you? No bots capable of doing that. I don't understand that.
There it is. That's the one. Oh, I just did DP spawn. Damn, cool sage. What's he got? What's he got? What's he got? What's cool sage got, huh? What do you got? We just cleared the whole room, so it's not like I couldn't do this fight. I don't like to cheat, super cheat. I just do this stuff to speed up things, like uh, when I play my whole raid i don't want to wait seven days to kill tracking on you know for a while i was actually like keeping track and waiting the server the server will keep track of stuff for you so if you want you can actually go and check is tracking on up yeah he is hey cool load up the raid and then go kill him so you can actually go and you know have your own private server certain guys are up every two days some guys are every three days Others are every seven days. Some some things are scheduled in weird ways, and then events are all triggered. For the most part, you can do events pretty well. I ha I struggle with a lot of events because you're all by yourself, and it's really hard to control everything that's going on. Um, we're gonna give one of these to Zed Bing, and then we're gonna give the other one to Kaylin. Bing. There you go. Braided cinch cord off of Sage. On we go to the next. Oops. That's the executioner down there, right? Yeah. No executioner's hood for us. Bring them all. Let's do it. Who cares? Bots are pretty strong. It's a little bit cheaty, but it's not any stronger than a, a real full powered group would be here. At this level, the game is strictly run by spells anyways i mean the damage feed on the left is pretty sad Level 40. I came in at level 30, so this is going pretty quick. Oh, 33 minutes. Uh, I think I started streaming or recording at like level 34, 35. Worst warrior ever. Can't taunt anything. Oh, he's got the axe. Oh, wait. No, that's... I don't want that. 
forgot. That's no good. The weighted axe is terrible. Bing. I wanted your hood, dude. Oh, cool. There's the hood. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not great either. I just realized. Holy crap. That's terrible. Um, ah, executioner's axe. Yes, I will play with that. I will play with that. And then this will go to Richard. That I'll put this away. I am so full already. I was trying not. I told myself I wasn't even gonna loot anything. Okay. All right. <clears throat> I guess I should summon the cab while I'm at it. Oh, that is so slow. Oh, I didn't think that through. stuff Oops. oh well, this is going great I am rooted here and I have no DPS I love doing this because uh, I don't know if you're like me, you ever played like a three person um, two or two boxing or three boxing. If you ever three box with mercs, then you know how painfully shitty those mercs are. Uh, and this is night and day when you get mo uh, if you can get bots or if you can get um, uh, like you, I, I load 12 actual accounts when I do my raid and then I fill the rest of the groups with bots. So I can load 12 versions of the client to get two full groups uh, using um, macros. What is it? It's not AI. It is AI. It's more macro than AI, but EQ emulator and macro quests to run groups. And the bots are like mercs times 20. They're so much better. They're actual players, so they don't have, like, mercenary gimped stats. You can actually give them gear like you see me doing. I'm actually giving them the same gear I would I would give anybody in the group. They get skills. They get AAs and spells, just like any other player. So they're way stronger. And then because of the AI using or running them, they're just, like, 20 times better. They're smarter. Just way smarter. There we go. There we go. Now I guess the robe for Zed. We'll give that to Zed. Boom. Chest robe. That's actually it's funny. <laughs> Getting a defiant piece is so much better than anything that could drop in this zone. I don't do any defiant gear in my main. My main groups 
My main groups actually are specifically geared to uh, the raid levels. The the server is theoretically capped at um, Shadows... No, not, we're up to Planes of Power right now. So, I have the levels capped at 65. The AAs are mostly capped at uh, Planes of Power. The bots have access to higher level AAs because um, in order to get the extended target window, I have, I think it's House of Thule activated. These last two inventory slots in order to open those two up i think that's actually house of tools so the the window is i i have three later expansions opened up so that i have a couple of features open just to make things easier on me um other than that we're capped at planes of power mainly by me just purposely doing that the entire raid group, my main raid group, is completely nice. Now she's got ropes on. Uh, actually, that's Zed. That's a he. Uh, or at least it should be. Yeah. No, that is... Why is Zed a female? That's not right. Zed's supposed to be a guy. That's a, that's a mistake. Um, I just totally trailed off. What the hell was I talking about? Main raid group being capped at Planes of Power. That's pretty much it. You got it. Ornate Defiant Harpoon. Primary two-handed cruiser. It's faster. Ooh, cool assassin. lot faster. I might actually go back and go get that. So anyway, long story short, I'm playing with Defiant just to just to do what I can because I'm only playing with the six person group. Uh, otherwise I would I wouldn't use it. Hello. Yeah, cool looking spear. Give me that. I want your harpoon. I want to be a dinosaur with a spear. It's like it's twice as fast. Two hand slashing. This will take a year and a half to level up. ratio on that is insane actually really high stats don't even really need a shaman buff or anything that's why I actually went with the sh uh, the beast lord again I, I was sacrificing optimal and like what the best thing would be for just what what's more fun Okay, 
Let's go get a FPSS. That's what I need. Uh, what else do I need to get from this place for everybody else? Everybody needs stuff here. FBSS. We need three of those, really. And um, then uh, metallic robes, of course. We need shiny metallic robes. Mm, I'd like to go higher, uh, deeper, because this, is that light blue or red? I think that's white. Yeah, that was light blue. That had to be light blue. Let's go get some better experience. Oh, there's Savant. What is going on, guys? Hello, how are you? Let's get this done. We're getting some big XP. Yeah, it's a good one. Magic. So we can give that to Fang. We got chain boots for Richard. Hell yes. Let's get it up. Right now, Fang does not have. do this. I'll have to look that up. Hold on a minute. Do 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 Ba da 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 ba da
There it is. Triumphal remove. So just delete that, get it out of here. And here you can have this. And then you would have magic magic. Now he can actually hit stuff. I think I probably had. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Okay. Let's give this to Richard. He does not have any boots. Now he's got boots. Look at all those stats he just picked up. Look at all that. From nothing to something. Reduce cast time of spells by 15%. That's kind of that's kind of huge. That's kind of a little bit huge. Let's go get some big XP. Hey, what are you hitting me for? That's so rude. Look at that.
Wow. The, look at this. The gloom steel hammer is the uh, is the the reward for the level 10 tutorial mission. And you don't even have to beat the whole thing. It's the same stats as the enameled black mace, which is a level 40 drop. 35, 40 ish. And it's a group drop. You have to get a group to come into lower guck. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. This is such a good weapon. Dude, the gloom steel hammer is like a big boost. That's crazy. Dude, can I hit anything? My offense is terrible. Leveling up so fast. I don't have any skills at all. I might actually give myself some skills because this is embarrassing. I mean, I'm going to have to at some point. I guess actually, maybe that's not true. It'll all catch up. Later on. Oh, there we go. Yellows. I like yellows. Show me big old yellow drops or yellow mobs. Want that experience, baby? seconds <laughs> excuse me <laughs> i forgot i was recording there that's uh bound to happen oh i'm listening to a tv show um on you know on the side and that was just a reaction to a really stupid comment sorry sorry <laughs> oh what's going on here can't hit 
Can't hit. Can't see you. Oh, you come here, you. Hell. Hot. Grab. Can't make another hot. I can't make a hockey. What have I made too many hockeys? I don't believe that's possible.
Well, look at that. I have no chess piece. Yes, sir. And I'll take those too. Uh, you got hands? You got hands. Baby, that's the one I wanted. Shit, for now, 
don't like that they attuned. A frenzied ghoul. He's up already. Already. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go for a frenzied ghoul. Take him out. Take him out.
contours the archmage archmagus sure to get some shiny metallic robes i'm uh, definitely going to summon another frenzied ghoul in a minute like i said I don't, I don't like cheat cheat too much i could just summon him like six times in fact i could just summon a sb uh, fbss but i'm not gonna do that i'm going to try to pretend that i played normally I just like to speed it up, speed the whole thing up, speed up the whole dang process. Oh, that was the AM. I forgot. It's a placeholder. I'll give it a few minutes. And I'll summon them both. Y'all. I am getting tired, y'all. Forty-five. Heck yeah. What's up, Big Sam? What's up, buddy? You gonna make me get up right now? You wanna go outside?
Oi, oi, oi. Sammy Bear. Cloth sandals. We have to go get that. That's actually not so hot. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's not even...
Whoa, my defense is only 97 out of 210. <laughs> a warrior oh i can't do no way i can't do it oh there's no way Uh, I'll go with 175. Look at that. That was like a hundred and something defense or AC. That was so much AC. Holy shit. Um, one hand slashing. I have no ability to bring that up later. One, I uh, don't want to go too far, but my one-handed blunt, which as a warrior pretty much should technically be one slashing. I'll just go 156, so it's the same as what I have there. And I'm going to do that for two-handed slashing as well. So, that's a little bit more cheaty because two-handed slashing takes forever to train up. I think I'm going to do a little Do a little boss rush here and then say goodbye. I think we'll just go straight to Sebelis. I go to old Seb. Should be mobs I can still handle. Actually, I don't know because we are so naked it is embarrassing however though the gear in original everquest has like no stats like really 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 low stats so it is still feasible to go to kunark i think we, i think we'll be fine so full group and we're mostly spells yeah look at even nikki Nikki's the cleric, and she's got more DPS than the Ranger, the Beast Lord. Cleric, Druid, Barge. Oh, yeah, that's weird. stats but beast and ranger who didn't get one of those thing has one 
has one now. Bang has one now. Everybody gets to slowly, slowly, slowly. Eventually, everybody gets a helmet and a chest piece. Caitlyn still needs a robe. Oh, there's two! Oh my god, two archmages at the same time! It's crazy! Sit with me, Oh, you know what I just realized? The experience potion wore off. That's why the expect XP was a bit low. It's like these guys aren't that low or that much further below me. It should still be giving some good chunky XP. Boom. That's seven percent. Slowing down. Oh well. We did not get an SMR. <sighs> Although I really can't just leave it at that, can I? Can I? Really? Can I? What? Legs again. Oh my god. Screw it. There it is. There's a robe. God, it's not even that good. Give me a damn robe. <laughs> remember. Remember being here. So it's, if you've ever played EverQuest, you're the cool one. Um, you have sat in this stupid place 
for so long it hurts sitting there one stupid spawn after another another and then another and then another and i have to farm three fbss two of the robes actually just one because they already got a, a, de a defiant robe yeah it's just ridiculous i want to move on to get some good experience we could probably be level 50 by now if i was being smart yeah, should have gone to Old Seb and immediately gone downstairs to the King area. I could be farming a um, a fungi tunic instead of this. Oh, we're going to die. I just realized, yeah, Nikki just... Oh my god. I spawned. See? I <laughs> got myself into trouble here. We're fading. Nikki's still alive. Stay alive, Nikki. Oh, we lost Zed. Ooh, this is bad. This is real bad. We do not have the DPS to save this. Oh boy. I don't have good corpse retrieval. If we survive this, I will be amazed. I'm actually shocked. I'm about to go down. Fang is about to, Fang is at two percent, and there goes Fang. Okay, so I don't see us having the DPS to kill this. Although I just came out of the danger zone. We're hitting. We're hitting. Come on, Richard. Come on, Richard. Smash it. Let's get this one down. Keep Richard up, because we will lose all the DPS. Ooh, and a ding. Ooh, and a ding. And we lost Richard. Oh, shit. Just me and Nikki. I gotta finally see how much DPS I'm actually doing, because up until now, I haven't done shit. All right, Nikki, let's do this. Why doesn't she melee? Clerks can melee. How come you don't melee? She's probably casting. I'll bet you she's just constantly casting. Get those skills. Defense, offense, 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 offense. Carry going up. Oh, that's right. I just got a level, so it all three, four. One hand, one. Well, I can actually hit the guy. That's good. All four. See, we're not. We're not just. Easy cakewalk, walking through, no problem. I just got myself into big trouble. And spawning named mobs is not like, oh, I can just spawn the guy and then instantly kill it. You still have to actually fight the mobs and win. <laughs> Look at all those skills. I love getting skills. I'm addicted. That's why I still come back to this game. After all this time, still love EverQuest. Ooh. 
Wow. Bring these guys back. Instantly res. Look at that. Oh, look, the res time is lightning fast. Now, they still have res sickness for four minutes. So, it's not like you can just spawn the guys, instantly get them all back. But, hey, we can get to the buffing period. Everybody can sit, get their mana back, start buffing. And then by the time we're done buffing, the res sickness is up. And the whole thing is just much, much, much faster. You don't have to wait for 20 different people to get, you know, from one mob to another when you're doing raids. Because you can just press a button and summon every single person in the raid to where you're standing. And it's like, all right, now we're all here. Everybody sit, med, buff everybody up. We'll be ready to pull in like five minutes. That takes all that 15, 20 minutes of getting the, the raid to gather. Just gone. And all of the times where people get lost and, and then wander off and their invis fades and they die because they don't know where they're going. Then you got to, you know, fix that and go get them and pick that all back up. That's all gone too. So you just, you save hours and hours and hours. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna leave them to do what they're doing for the most part now I really feel like somehow you should be able to charm entrance No, wait, that's a mez. Caitlyn has 16 spells and doesn't have... Alright, is it? 
Hey, Bruna the Guru already? That's 46. Yeah, give me that. Invalid name. I'm coming up with some pretty weird errors right now. I'm not sure exactly what the issues are. Anyway, we should be ready to go. Yep. Okay. See, now, if you think about this, I'm power leveling, speeding up my leveling up process, trying to get some gear. I've stayed in Lower Guck, one of the longest respawn cycles in the whole game, 27 minutes to get to this point where um, the frenzied ghoul didn't come back. And it's like, I'm not going to sit here and wait again. We're out of here. I'm going to spawn the Frenzied Ghoul to get at least two of the three FPSs I need. And then we're going straight to Seb. And I don't have a track. Uh, I will have a Ranger. So imagine, yeah, there you go. I was just going to say that. I don't have track myself. So I can't actually use it and then go guide my group around Sebelis. But you know how this goes. If you go to... What is it? Trachanon's Teeth? Or Emerald, Emerald Jungle. You go to Emerald Jungle, then you can get the uh, the sub key by using track to kill the forager and then blah, blah, blah. It's a long quest. It's a very popular known quest. So anyway, it would take me at least 30 minutes. Maybe if the spawns are lucky, I could probably get the whole thing done for all six of these players. Each person has to do the quest. You get to get a forager and a hunter. Froglock forager and a froglock hunter. Six times each. So that's 12 mobs. It, it's, it would, no, it would take several hours. It would take several hours. So you would have to, um, you get to a point where you can only group up with the people who have already done that quest. And people kind of get it done um, on the side when they're, when they're ready to. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that by going straight into Sebelis. Literally going zone Sebelis. <laughs> Frenzied Ghoul. DB spawn 66146. Six, it seems like I. Seems like I already pulled that one up a couple times. There's deja vu when I type that in. I cannot taunt for shit. Even if I'm hitting hard. Oh, there you go, Richard. Look at Zed! <laughs> oh, look at Zed! Nobody can fuck with the wizard. Nobody. Oh, and he just crit for 752. And then immediately he falls up with another 570. There's... I, couldn't catch up with him if I wanted to. Bam. Nope. Nope. Oh my god. All moonstones. So here we go again. Imagine sitting here late, late, late into the night. It takes a long time to get a group. You have to be in the, the right the position to get a group. And then when people get into a group down here, they don't want to leave. They just sit here trying to get bloodthirsty, or uh, I'm sorry, uh, FBSS's frenzied ghouls 
over and over. I just spawned three, so that would be 27 minutes. That's an hour and a half. An hour and a half people would sit here. And if the ghoul spawned and didn't have the, the FBSS, I can't even believe how much time we spent playing this game in this in this one spot fighting some stupid frogs. It's kind of incredible, actually. There's one. Woohoo! Maybe I can try to keep some aggro. Maybe I can kind of finally get some aggro. Yay. What does it do? 21% haste. Which puts me at 171 with celerity. So there you go. You normally have 100%, obviously. And then celerity is the spell from the enchanter. Boom, that puts me at 171. The cap is 200. And then the only way to get over the cap, a little bit of a boost past that to get to 216, I think maybe 218, is uh, with a bard buff. Which is why I usually have a bard, but I'm not doing that this time. Damn. No FPS here either.
I got I got to get one more. Got to stay to get one more. There's two more right there. Boom. Doubled up. I was kind of crazy. Two and one. Okay, well, there's uh, one for the... One for Fang, the Beast Lord, and one for Richard, the uh, Ranger, which is exactly what I would like to do. Don't really want to leave one of them behind, considering most of my DPS. Zed keeps going, Oom. Um. There's only just the one of him. He's going to have Enchanter buff the whole time through, but he doesn't have the Bard. That's the other reason. The Bard, no matter what your group composition, a Bard is pretty much incredible to have. Um, I actually kind of wish I had a bard. Considered changing Richard to a bard, but canonically he would be a ranger. Just the character. That's just me playing games in my own head, though, for some reason. There we go. Boom. All right. Oh, that's right. I can't do that. Uh, here we go. You take mine. Damn. And then Richard take this one. And then I will take this one. And we are all hasted. Her blam. Uh-huh. 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 I really, really like that I don't have to go back and get spells. Even when you're power leveling and you skip like five or six levels at a time. This is just so much easier. Another thing I do with my main characters when I was playing and leveling up was um, you can use um, a good if you've played some time lock progression servers you have a pretty good pro uh, a pretty good frame of reference for the price of things and I also there's a website called EQ Traders is that the one I think that's the one there's a couple of them but there's a site that keeps track of um, EQ Project 99 servers, which are the first three expansions of the game. Oh, I forgot to equip that onto someone. That's pretty lame. What was the point of getting it? He didn't even put it on him. Um, anyway, you can figure out the, the actual price tag of things that people would normally buy and sell. And then I go, I have 700 something gold. I'm going to take 100 gold which I would then trade to a player, and I'll just delete that pl uh, 100 platinum. It's actually platinum, and there's gold, silver, yeah, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I'll just delete, I'll just pretend that I'm meeting with somebody and buying an item from them. And then I'll just, del uh, I'll just, uh, so you have uh, item ID. Every item has an ID. You can look up the items that you want, and you can just make it. You can just generate it, so you can cheat. Like I could have said, oh, I don't want to farm this anymore, this item with the haste. I could have gone, D, uh, give item 1365, and there you go. You get it. No more screwing around. No more taking time. No more wasting your life. So I can actually pretend to buy stuff from other people when I really didn't even have any other person to engage with because there would be other people in other in other zones finding other name mobs so they can get some stuff and go sell it later um let's go ahead and do this always chat here evil Uh, based off of the numbers, everything else was going by. I'm going to see. Yeah, 
And yes, that is a gigantic eye that I wanted this right here. Bag of sewn, uh, sewn evil eyes. So this is just a bag, just like all these bags that I have. But this has 70% weight reduction. And that is quite handy. I will take it. Let's get rid of that. And it's lower. Yeah, so I can only take one. Okay, let's go. Zone Sebilis. That's not it. Two. There it is. Single. Uh, or lowercase, lowercase. Alright, I'm just going to play around in here a little bit. I am actually getting pretty darn tired. Pretty darn tired. What is that, size 5? Let's go size 6. Feels a little bit chunkier. Thirteen twenty-four. Like that is a really high ratio. Yeah, look how much bigger that that one is. That's what I'm talking about. Big kitty. Big kitty. Oh, I got drowsy. Look at this. Two minutes is slow. I can't attack for nothing. Wow, Fang and Pets is taking over. I'm looking at the damage, and that 
Fang's warder is kicking ass. Boom, there we go. 27% on the level. We're gonna level in here fast. <coughs> wow, that microphone picks up every little bit of that, doesn't it? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, freaking heck, that's pain. Fang's warder. I don't remember a level 40 something, 47, 48 warder hitting that much. He's triple attacking for 48. Really fast, too. Look at that. 45, 47. It's like having an enchanter pet. Which we still don't have. I can't believe that's not happening. I can't believe it doesn't work. I feel like I remember this happening, too, where... The enchanters... Uh, Every bot, in fact, I think they might actually have, like, certain ones have some spells and other ones have others. Like, they don't actually have every single spell available. Which is pretty crazy. It's possible to get one that's not as good as the others. It's like, oh, look, you found a level 46 enchanter? Not the same as the other 46 enchanters. Well, look at Richard slashing like crazy. Jesus. All right, looks like my melee have stepped it up. Zed can't even see this target. Boom, level 49. Ornate, cloth, defiant. Oh yes. Oh yes. Do you have legs? You got legs? Silver silk? No, no. There, I help you out. Give you some good stuff. Compared to what you have, godly. Some godly gear. Now charm something. Yeah, mook.
Uh oh, uh oh, this is bad. This is really bad. We're not strong enough for this. Kill this guy. Kill this guy, everyone. Kill this guy. We can't have any of this running around. I need to get Richard onto some, some one-handed weapons. Thirty-three percent. Level 50! Almost a thousand attack on a warrior. Now, trust me, I, I always play a monk. I know all about DPS. I know warriors are pretty much not DPS at all. But then later on, sometimes when you do like if you get to a raid geared if you have you if you ever been in a six person group with a raid geared warrior, they are pumping out incredible damage on every single mob. And it's like, wow, you know what? It's kinda hard to keep up with. I'm gonna pass you every time, but well, you know, warriors do quite a lot. Their whole entire job is to stand there and pummel the dude in the face as much as possible. Kind of crazy. They don't get to backstab. They don't get to volley like the berserkers. They don't get to arrow volley like the rangers. They don't get to flying kick and do all kinds of multi-attacks like monks do. But they do a lot of damage. And I don't really want to play the warrior. But I figured for this playthrough, I will try it because it's just probably the, it's like the mature thing to do. You have much more control over the game if you actually play the character that needs to be positioned and, you know, taunt stuff correctly. Right now I have no control over taunting mobs off my, off my party, but, you know. Do what you can until you get to, to the point where you get better stuff. I need to have faster weapons. And like I just said, we're starting to get attack is coming up. Starting to get to these points, like three attacks in a row in one round. Nothing compared to this warder. Holy shit, this tiger. Look at this tiger. He's kicking ass.
Uh oh. How did I just get myself killed again? I gotta, I gotta rein it in. I'm running around like I'm super, super strong. And eh, Nikki's down. Okay, we have no cleric. So, um, I'm about to die here. And I don't want to die here and then have to... What do I do? What do I do? I have to run to the zone. Um, if you know how Sebelus works, this is a wipe. Nikki would be dead right there. And I would be going down real soon. Right about... Um, Enchanter our way out of this, maybe. Somebody's healing me. Richard should be healing me. Richard is healing me. Thank you, Richard. Maybe we can save this. So this is looking bad. We lost our cleric, which typically would end up being something like a wipe. A wipe is when everybody dies. So Sebelis requires players that have a key, like I was talking about earlier. So all of us would be quest keyed, and then we would have the ability to zone into this place. Which means if we died in here, you'd have to, you used to have to have the key on you, which was ridiculous. Then they made it character flag, so your, your quest is what gets your character the ability to come in here. But you'd come into the entrance naked where I started. And you would have to fight your way down here to get to your body. Um, the other interesting thing is that if I decided I wanted to run back the way we came to get out of here and save myself, well, I'd get stuck because you can't go that way. Most zones let you go in the way you came out or let you go out the way you came in. Uh, but not this one. Nope, not this one. This one is a very, very terrifying place to be. And if you need to run for the exit, you need to actually run forward through more mobs. And it's actually very, this whole game is terrifyingly maze-like. If you didn't grow up playing this game, you'd probably have a very, very hard time getting into it. Um, but you basically have to go forward and create a train, meaning you have angered every single mob that you see on the way forward. And so you get to a point where you have <laughs> so many things behind you that if you stop for even a second, you're probably going to die. And I am actually... I Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Shit. There's three more mobs to fight. This is bad. And I was just about to say, I'm shocked that we pulled that off. But we're not pulling it off. We're dying here. I really think I might actually just, uh... Oh my god, sublet golems, let's kill this guy, and then I'm gonna... It's late, I'm tired. Okay, I don't wanna die. I really don't wanna die here. Okay. Let's just pretend that none of that crazy just that happened. I don't think technically I don't think I should have the, the guild hall, so two of my friends <laughs> if this were a real server, I'm just I'm just role playing essentially. Role playing that this were a real server. If that were a real server, two of my friends would be standing over here. Right next to that person. Right there. And they'd be standing there naked. And they'd be like, uh, what the heck do we do now? Like, like for real. What do we do now? And I'd have to sit here and spend a whole bunch of time figuring out how to... Why doesn't this work? Let's see. Now vulnerable. Try that again. 
it doesn't work. Huh, interesting. All right, anyways. Can... Just instantly hold them back up. But I am actually going to call tonight. Uh, wow. That was a lot longer than I thought. All right, well, two and a half hours. I started tonight at level 30. I think I started the recording at um, 33, 34, and I ended at 51. Now, I would have gotten further. I probably would have gotten to maybe all the way to 60 if I was just specifically looking for levels. And I probably should have. But you also have to have the capability to fight and kill stuff in order to get levels. So I don't know. I think I did pretty good. 21 levels tonight. I just started this group yesterday. Um, eight. Oh, look at the look at all the buffs they have on them. It's crazy. This actually might actually end up being. A pretty solid group overall and I really like this is one of the reasons I like bots because they will cast all these cool spells that most of us are too lazy we're just we're not so lazy that you know it's like lazy but these are so many extra spells that you don't need a lot of people don't need these and so a lot of us just won't cast them Stamina. That's stamina and agility on the uh, cleric, which are both very good to have because the cleric gets aggro and needs defenses, but a lot of us don't bother. Ward of that absorbs. Yeah, it's like a rune, a spell rune. Mitigate spell damage by 25% until 560 absorbed. I wouldn't cast that. A wizard casting a shield on the cleric. No wizard ever cast that spell. <laughs> like, ever. There's not a single wizard on Earth that has ever cast that spell on their cleric. But the bots do. So, alright, anyways. I'm out. I'm camping. Have a good one.